All right, this time I'm gonna get it. Uh, <laughs> I apologize for the poor audio. Uh, I've made a couple of these videos already. One on metal, which is really meant for clipping purposes, so it's not for a long form. And a second one that I realized I couldn't post on YouTube if I wanted to because of the nudity. So now we fix that. Anyway, this is a quick crib tour. Hopefully quick through my Conan Exiles build while I grapple with um, the idea of not resetting decay timers anymore uh, twice a week. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's begin. Uh, this is my normal armor, but we're going to slip into something a little more comfortable for this tour. Uh, which is this gifted, like, very nice hardcore armor that we, uh, <laughs> made look entirely different for, um, the purposes of living in the northern exile lands and finding it really amusing to wear a gold bikini in the snow. That is the sole purpose of this outfit. Um, a lot of the thralls I have were gifted to me by a friend, uh, so, like, the fancier ones that have since been renamed. Uh, and also not renamed, imposed nidally, uh, were, were not kept, not, uh, yeah, I know human trafficking, uh, but yeah, Conan Exiles is big on that, and, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the only guy out of this group that I made my friend. We'll just say we make friends. We make friends in Conan Exiles. Okay. My black rhino I got on the first try. Another friend that was introduced to me by another friend. This is a friend I found on my own. Anyways, this is a PvEC server that I played on for a while. I didn't do a lot, as you can see. There are a lot of upgraded services, uh, which is kind of good because the Numidian uh, Foundation crisis happened, and a lot of people lost a lot of things. And it's one of the reasons why it's like I need to have keep playing this game. The particular toxicity and um, heavy PvP on this particular server has turned me off quite a bit of hanging out here, especially since I play primarily in the evenings when I do play, although I can't say I played this game in earnest in months. Anyway, we're going to move along. We're not going to get into down the details. This is my rock nose farm, which it appears to have correctly populated this time. Those are my gold guys. Uh, there's my silver. There's some upset people over here. And I'd be happy for them in this room, now that they're appropriately censored. In fact, why don't we do at least one quick sacrifice while we're here at uh, the Bondage Bureau Static Solutions. And uh, Bondage Bureau Staffing Lake Campus uh, Greater Wheels. Huh? And like ice baths are really good for you, so just uh, a quick little dip in the uh, nice and chilly. Yeah, all right. Um, obviously, I didn't upgrade any of those. This is where I would have kept my. I guess I do have several grubs here. Compost me. Um, I never had any other outposts. I did have some on the other server that probably had cute names, but they have since decayed. I did let them go before I even noted what their names Here's my tip uh, stations. Tip station, one's here, and two and four on that side, one here on this side. These guys are appropriately covered now. And I mean, if you ever wonder what you do with these guys, I mean, if you're here and you're watching a Conan video, you probably know, but uh, we're not going to censor this part. daylight. 
so that's nice. And now I'm correct. Uh, oh. What, do you want to take your turn? Because we'll do you too. Might as well. <laughs> Let's get really corrupted. Maybe this will scream. Where's my castle? I didn't really do a whole lot on the server after I made the rock nose farm. Hang on. Why are we not slitting for us? Is it too soon? Oh. It's never too soon to do this thing. Human sacrifice. I am appropriately dressed for this. It's all more five minutes in and I haven't even done the actual casting so far. I know. I don't even remember how I... Alright. Just in case. Sumerian Berserker, that's what those guys are called. Thank you, person in the chat, for reminding me what the heck they're called. Sumerian, is that right? Anyway, Cinnamons is one of those people. She's a cinnamon monster! That was a joke from the video that will never see the light of day because too many genitals. Okay, anyway. Now that we're good at witchified. This is a rare treat to see this in the sunlight. Did I get a horse? I forgot that I put a horse in here. Sorry, horsey. Uh, critters. I wonder if the bunny is still trying to escape. I basically made the, uh, most of my crafting stations are actually in another, because this tower didn't have enough room for them. This is where they were all meant to go, but never made it, because Oh no, they boobified you, didn't they? You probably had normal boobs to start with. I hate that patch. A lot of this stuff was gifted except for the rock noses. That was from trying to get all those rock noses. A lot of these thralls I actually um, befriended myself. Look, and even everyone's appropriately dressed. Everyone's covered like they should be. I think the bunny rabbit... Oh no, he's back in. He's back in. Don't go out there! Oh! Well... The bunny rabbit is still here, at least, right? No, don't walk out this door! Lord. Is that somebody's castle down there? Man, that's sweet. So this is the other side. Doesn't that look lovely? What a view. If I don't get attacked by a mammoth on either side. It's not populated, but over there on that is my, my friend. My Conan friend. I think that the guilt of all the things they gave me and abandoning every, all the thralls and things is a big reason why um, I haven't... Uh, Quit playing. Who are you? Are you Freya? We'll never know. For some reason, it's not the gun. <laughs> some archer towers. Can't hardly see them, but there's Dina. you can't see them. Anyway. Um, we're not feeling the hours, so we could probably comfortably walk in this way to where 
where I never moved my crafters from. A lot of these folks are named and were also handed to me quite kindly in my way. I don't know, I keep telling myself, oh you'll come back and you'll want all the stuff that you built. been to all the places here, I just, I mean not all the dungeons and things, but I did go crawl hunting with a, I mean friend making with a pal. Yeah, see we're getting a little more light now, you can see it. I really did enjoy building and making this castle. This is the one server where I just kind of, um, I just kind of really didn't do anything. Am I jingling? Am I jingling? Do I jingle? I think my bikini jingles. I think it's actually her jingling. Could've sworn I had more animals down there. Maybe I didn't. I'm going the wrong <laughs> way. I have like rock noses that I most of them got murdered. But most of these guys I befriended on my own. Because they're just, this place is riddled with them. Anyway, that's, that's that server, the exile server. Another PVEC server where I built a giant tower with everything enclosed because we played PvP for like a week or two until it got ugly and people started bothering us. But I was convinced with even though this is oh no, am I gonna be stuck on the floor? I'm stuck. All right, come back. Let's try this again. Yay, Conan Exile. Great. There's never any issues or problems. Ever, ever, ever. Anyway, um, they never break the game consistently with updates to a point where I didn't even touch the new update and neither did any of my friends. We might have done the six month cycle back to playing Conan if it hadn't been for that rather live launch of their, uh, you new... kitty. Where's the other kitties? Well, now we have these two. Oh no, they're all three here. They're all here. We have another Claire. And best. That's a good thing. I think there's only three. I don't think I have any more. We have my... This is the living quarters in my wonderful tower, where everything's enclosed because I was afraid of people stealing things. My greater saber too. Uh, I think all the creatures on this floor which is nicely decorated, I might add. Love it.
lovingly so. I did grind and either find or make all the materials for the decorations. This dog is not mine, this dog was a gift. A lot of the animals here were, but uh, some of them were. These guys. If I had made dice, we would have practically a D&D &D game going here, I think. It looks like we've got all the materials ready for that. That's one of my favorite things I ever made, is that table. Besides the tavern that fell victim to the Nemedian um, Foundation crisis of 2023, where a lot of things went bye-bye, they were sitting I decorated all my horsies. This was a gift. This is my sorcery floor. Um, here's my. This kind of became my primary horse after the one upstairs. Who's my primary horse? Quarters area. Anyway, I, I actually should visit the upstairs. staircases before that. So he, that was his method. Um, a lot of these animals were gifted. Uh, I think the elephant might be mine. Pretty sure this was a gift. This was a gift. Uh, we really got helped out um, when we joined the server by a wonderful uh, uh, player, another player, who gave us some, like, content that uh, I ended up ha ended, ended up with most of it just because I was the one who remained on the server and kept playing, but we all would have benefited um, had everyone stayed on as long as I did play. See, I was obsessed with keeping everything closed, so um, that was the only ceiling tile I couldn't fill in. Uh, these animals are not flying, but these were itchy's animals. Anyway, again, I renamed this guy, but I, I did not tame him myself. But yeah, that's where the animal pit ended up. And that's also where the greater wheel of this particular base is on the inside, because I thought, because it's PV, partially PvP, that steal things from us, but they can. And so that's how I, I, despite all the gifts and things and the leg up I was given in sorcery and everything, I did the grind for all the materials to upgrade and make all this pretty. It's a mix of storm glass and, um, Tyrannian. And I have a lot of Nvidia things, the furniture and things. I don't have any cute armor on this, uh, I think I'm wearing a headpiece on this, um, but yeah, a lot of these thralls, we were befriended from a purge that took out our original base, uh, or most of it, and killed a lot of our pets and friends and things. Um, I've, I, of course, I've got a lot of the upgraded crafting tables. This is from a hall someone's base that deteriorated uh, that I never actually put away. Um, a lot of these guys and their armor were also uh, befriended, introduced to me by another friend. By the same friend. I did have quite a pal like this. Oh, I should go out the gate. I should go out the gate. I should, out the gate. I should actually go visit all the little friends huh? we have guarding guys. We get to see it. 
get lit up at night. Um, obviously, I did have some paranoia regarding purges, and I built a really lopsided and janky uh, black ice perimeter that does have archers on the tops of some places. They had like the base and then they, we had they were now because I forgot and uh, don't have any recordings from the time period. My key card. This is a rather unfinished base because it was supposed to replace the other base. unfinished and kind of in its current state at the time, unsightly, so uh, no, 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 not to disparage my friend, but um, he was never going to come back to the mission, so I tore down and took all, but I did, I did grab his friends in case, I mean, I don't know, are we ever coming back to this game? The six month cycle back didn't happen, so. uh, I built all this with the idea that everybody else would come back eventually, and to replace the previous space that got wrecked by a guy who's not even here anymore. Uh, his purge came through our base, tore through. Um, anyway, this is the best part, or was before all my decorations got messed up. I replaced some of the structures, but not the actual decor. I guess if I ever get invested again, I'll redecorate my tavern and put all the tables back up. I had to get the barrels back up. This was consolidated from what fell to ruin due to that. Everything I collect for tables, some of it I make, but a lot of the things are found. There's our little dancer. And a nice little stage. So she survived. All this, you know, managed to survive, but like this counter was gone. Yeah, we lost a lot of a lot of character to the buckskin in. Uh, I 
getting the login to even like I didn't decorate it. This was all done by Ratchet. Um in fact she lives here. That's her horse and her bed. And she's a lot more organized about things and labels and stuff. I have about, well now I have about 520 hours, not even as much as I have in Phasmophobia, but a lot. You'd be surprised how many hours I spent in Phasmophobia, but like, still somehow, it's, it's, it's as many hours as I spent in this game, it's still not as much as Phasmophobia. conveniently labeled so that's not part of the map if they do use our we don't have as many public I mean we I don't have as many public um, don't remember what they're called for real but they're like teleporting stones. So here's my janky place in particular, getting it just so cursedness wash off of me and then I'll go to my favorite place and contemplate if I'm really gonna stop coming here. It's just, you know, time grows more and more between, I usually check in twice a week to re-up the, to reset the decay timers. And um, I'm, it's getting further and further apart before I remember to do it. And I know eventually I'm just going to straight up again. And then I'm going to feel bad <laughs> because I'll never be able to look at all my, my lovely things. But I'm hoping that making a video like this and actually having a means of collecting the entirety of it, you know, let's, let's, this is probably going to go up on YouTube. I don't even know why I'm saying probably. I'm probably going to directly upload this after 
completing it. But you know, it's just uh, <laughs> I have a, a nice record of everything. I can look back on it, and uh, I don't know. I just look at it and I go, oh, you put, and it's, I know it's sunk cost fallacy. It's like, I put so much effort into all this, and I just wanted it all to look so nice, and, you know, I, I spent so much time grinding to get all the materials to upgrade everything, just to do the stupid pillars, and just all the little details, the things I gathered and found, and used to decorate. Like, this is my, f this is, like, the best space. It's my favorite room. I mean, I have beds for all my friends that never came back to play again. <laughs> it's just, this is all the little, all the times I, like, redid things so that the windows would look just so, and This table is like my pride and joy out of all the stupid things I, all the time, all the things I spent time on. I love these decorations the most. So, this is where I will conclude. I don't know, it's just, it's hard to say this will be my last visit here. I, uh, I definitely enjoyed the game. I could definitely see myself playing it again and investing a lot of time and effort and energy. I just think that without something to do on this scale, a build like this, like, since I primarily play solo anymore, uh, I mean, I don't want to play a single player because it's very dependent on, uh, I mean, I don't know how things work now, maybe things are, work a little faster than they used to, I think they did change how things are tamed and how the wheels work. Um, I don't think they take near as much time as they once did to uh, cook up material. Maybe even to cook up materials. I actually don't know if if those times are decreased as well. But like when you're on a single player server, it's dependent on the time you spend with the server actively moving time forward and living. Um, where you know public server or a dedicated which you deal with, like the public servers, you know just leave stuff to cook, you come back and, you know, maybe the next day or whatever, you've got all your bricks and, you know, and all your thralls are ready to go and all your pets are ready to be placed lovingly wherever you want to set them in your base, and, you know, so that's the draw to that. And maybe one day everyone will come back and do a dedicated, but it won't be these servers if they do a dedicated server, you know? So, like, what am I waiting for? What am I holding on to all this for? It's, uh, it's tricky. I don't know why it's so hard to let go of a bunch of things. I've been resetting these timers for going on a year. I started playing March of last year. I played and played and played and played and played and, and that's a lot of hours and time. And, uh, built all these things and did all this stuff and I've already let some of it go piece by piece I, I have but ultimately I'm still here uh, where I haven't played in earnest since probably what May or June of last year and it's March again and <laughs> and I'm just and occasionally I'll fiddle with something I built those fishing shacks um, I've done a little bit to fix my um, partially destroyed tavern uh, from the the foundation debacle where, you know, everything decayed and went bye-bye. <laughs> I even endured the, oh my gosh, all of our thralls are gone, uh, where they went and rolled back the servers because that was just a bridge too far, I guess, for a lot of people. Ugh, love how I was going to try to do under 40 minutes and here we're approaching 36. At any rate, uh, it's just sunk cost fallacy. I'm never gonna like probably go and try to tackle all these bosses and dungeons and things on my own. I would want to play with friends, and if they come back, it's not gonna be to these servers. I do have a pal I can hang out with occasionally, but like 
I've been playing other games on the weekends, so like, what do you do? What do you do? You just... Uh. <laughs> I love how my character is kind of going along with the same train of thought, like, oh, I just... I just... This, this struggle is real, man. But anyway, um, that's the grand tour. That's what I have. And uh, maybe I'll keep doing this for a couple more months. Maybe next week I'll say, screw it. Say goodbye. But I have this, I suppose. Just the same as I did a big tour. It was one of the last things I ever did on our... Uh, I don't even know if it was, yeah, I guess it was still, yeah, we still had the dedicated server up at the time. Um, it was a dedicated server of Valheim, and it was one of the last times I ever was on that server before we let that server go. I mean, we still have the save, but, like, you know, they update that game, and then it's not even worth going back to the old worlds anymore. You, you have to basically start a new one to be able to do any of the new stuff, so we basically... Uh, but, you know, we do have a nice little YouTube record of that as well, so maybe, maybe this will help me say goodbye. On that note, goodbye.